Hello friends, welcome to Astro Crescent. My name is Pavan Bhartwaj. Uh, recently, I've been uh, doing some videos on AZ GTI mount. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to connect the AZ GTI mount to ASI Air through the SynScan Wi-Fi, which is built in to the AZ GTI mount. So let's get going. In order to connect uh, the AZ GTI mount to the ASI Air, uh, you will need a couple of things, your iPad or iPhone, ASI Air, connecting cables like uh, cable for the camera. And if the camera is a cooled color camera, you will also need a power cable for that camera. And a power source. For the purpose of this video, I'll be using the Celestron power tank, which will power both the ASI Air and the Skywatcher AZ GTI mount. If you want, you can use the batteries which are installed in the AZ GTI mount, eight 1.5 volt batteries, making up 12 volt DC. Give me a moment, I'll connect all of this and get back to you. All right, the power has been connected to ASI Air and to AZ GTI. Because we are operating this mount in equatorial mode, make sure the mount is in home position. That means the latitude according to your location is correct and the mount is facing north. That would be the home position for equatorial mount. The tripod should be well leveled and the scope with all its uh, imaging equipment must be balanced. These things are important for smooth operation of the mount and the scope. Okay, so we will turn on the ASI Air first, wait for the signal. Meanwhile, on my iPad, I'll go to settings, Wi-Fi. Uh, it is right now connected to my home network. I'll make sure the auto join is off. Go back, ASI Air, Wi-Fi is on, connect to ASI Air and then launch the ASI Air app, enter device, not connected, yeah, got some time. I'll leave it here for now and Turn on the AZ GTI mount. Wait for the Wi Fi signal. There you go, send scan and some number connected. Go to open the send scan pro app now. Location updated. Connect to the mount. Searching equatorial mode. Select equatorial mode. Done. Go to settings, go to SynScan Wi-Fi. On this screen, select the modify station. Enable it. It is already enabled because I was working on it. So if you are doing it for the first time, it will be off. So turn it on. And here in the SSID, fill up the SSID or serial number of your ASI Air. This number is unique for every ASI Air. This number is written at the bottom of the ASI Air. Actually, it is good to note down this number before starting the process. I have noted down this number here. For me, it is ASI Air, all caps. If this is case sensitive, underscore. And my number here is Password, it is same for every ASI Air. Numbers 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Done. Uh, go down. If your DHCP 
down here is on turn it off and use a fixed IP address uh, ZWO recommends 10.0.0.10 uh, for me it was causing a conflict so I used uh, 10.0.0.20 this worked fine for me when done click the apply on right hand top corner these settings would be written to AZGTI mount and then AZGTI will be working in station mode so one thing we have to remember here it is the AZGTI which is working in station mode not the ASI air we will not turn on station mode on ASI air settings written next this is done so we now go back to your phone or iPad settings Wi-Fi settings connect back to ASI air and go back to the ASI air app in the mount settings in the beginning you will see none here but we will select EQ mode mount enter go to the Wi-Fi symbol here and go down to mount it is already on because I turned it on in the beginning it is off here we have to fill up the IP address that we just selected in SynScan app so that was 10.0.0.2 to see port 11880 and make sure it is not TCP like this it is UDP done and now you switch on the mount all done so as you have seen uh, on my iPad the settings like EQ mod mount IP address and port address they were already set this means once you have set these things they will stay on your uh, ASI Air app you don't have to do it again but it's always good to check every time you turn these things on every time you use the system location info sync to mount I would do that sync succeeded I would also check the camera whether it is connected or not it is connected if it is not connected it's solving and other things will not work the go to function will not work this is the main screen now my AZ GTI is connected to ASI Air and uh, my iPad is connected to ASI Air now I can operate the mount using the ASI Air app I don't have to do anything with this scan app now this application is particularly useful when you do not have the EQ mod kit in case you have the EQ mod cable then you don't need to use the SynScan app the AZ GTI mount will be directly connected to ASI Air using the EQ mod cable um, I will talk about that in my next video let's see the position of the scope it is showing me Polaris so I will try going to the Andromeda Galaxy let's see what happens so the mount is now moving to and double double X. It will not be able to play it solve because it is daytime and the scope cover is on. So I'll stop it here. The mount knows its position. So let me send it back to its home position. Go home. Okay. The mount is moving back to its home position. All done. That's all for today. Let me know in comments if I missed anything. So all these steps are available on the ZWO website as a PDF document. I'll give the link in the description below. Next time we will talk about connecting the AZ GTI mount to ASI Air using an EQ mod cable which will be connected directly to ASI Air. Thank you very much for watching. Until next time, clear skies.